now we are talking about the process theory of motivation at the beginning i told in the process theory here they are not talking about the factors they are not talking about the what question here they are talking about the process and how a motivation occurs and what kind of process can influence a employee motivation some famous theory related with the process theories are equity theory given by adam expectancy theory varun and goal setting theory given by edwin let us see one by one what what is the process of these theories and why they are separated from content theory of motivation the first theory of process related theory is equity theory here by name itself you can understand the people will value the fair treatment they will assume that whatever the input i put in terms of my efforts in terms of my time in terms of my input work everything i must get the result in in the same balance in terms of output so the structure of equity in the workplace is based on the ratio of input to the output expected like that whatever the in terms of process you can understand like this there is a process of input from the employee he put the efforts into the work by his knowledge by his experience by his work by his time by his physical efforts mental efforts and then whatever the expected outcome if both must be equal must be balanced must be as per the expectation must be as per the others in other word an employee get demotivated if input is more than the output we can understand with the help of this diagram in one side input is there what i put as an employee in my job like my time efforts ability loyalty tolerance flexibility so heart and soul everything it must be equal with what i get in terms of pay bonus perks benefit reputation promotion enjoyment and so on if both are balanced employees are motivated if input is more than output employees are demotivated or if in some time by some company if output is more than the input these type of employees are delighted employee so this is the equity theory expected by the employee input must be equal to the output how they will know it they are comparing with others they are comparing with their work policy they are comparing with their previous employer like this way they are saying input must be equal to the output second theory under the process theory is expectancy theory which is given by varun here a person a individual a employee have different expectation different valuation different belief or you can say as the different assumption so by keeping these all things varu come up with the theory of expectancy what is saying that this theory is basically based on the belief of a employee on three criteria what are those three criteria or what are those three variables or what are those three factors one is called as expectancy means what is the expectation from me to put how much effort or what is my expectation towards this work to get the desired output after getting the desired output what will be the my expected reward so three things are there one is expected input 
in terms of efforts then second one is expected process or output in terms of result and third one is expected bonus result outcome for that let us understand with the help of understand with the help of these three things expectancy will my efforts lead to the high performance or what efforts i should put known as expectancy variables how much efforts i should put so that the performance will lead to the great outcome it is known as instrumentality means my efforts will lead to the output and finally my output lead to the desired reward which is known as valence so three factors are there in the expectancy theory efforts expectancy instrument performance result and valence reward so that is the expectancy theory and next or the third theory in the process theory is goal setting theory this theory is given by edwin lock and here the theory is very simple and very practical this theory is saying that goal setting theory is all about the goal setting is essential and must be convey to the worker or must be specific what does it mean is it let me make it more simple like that any team any leader or manager must set a goal it may be set by himself or by his team involvement or maybe by the concern of everyone whatever the goal set is there it must be specific it must be challenging it must be appropriate and it must be conveyed to the people who are going to achieve this task and goal indicate and along with that one whenever a person is going to achieve this goal he must get the feedback from his superior from his boss the feedback in terms of yes you have achieved nicely or feedback in terms of there is some improvement is required or feedback in terms of reward in terms of suggestion in terms of motivation so that is called as goal setting theory goal must be set must be convey must be specific must be challenging and must be followed by appropriate feedback